nonsense. Charlie trained under me at Harvard University. He's a nice guy, but he's not really in the front line of combat and intelligence. Now let me get to where the real problem is. Not only will we turn around and get rid of these people, but Russia, in effect, watched what we were doing. And Putin went from a tactical genius to a chessboard genius, and he understood that our military could not affect a successful combat mission. And he saw that repeatedly in Iraq, Afghanistan, Yemen, and Sudan. What he did in turn was to inform us, basically the intelligence service, that he was going in and he told Obama, and he was going to sacrifice Russian men and women, as well as airplanes and advanced technology to do the dirty work that we couldn't do. While we were playing around, not knowing what to do and having no strategy whatsoever in Syria and Iran, I suggested that the Russians come in, do our dirty work, pay the price that they had, in return for which they would come back into the fold and be part of an alliance that would be quite strong. And that's exactly what they're doing. I don't condone what Bashar Assad did, but I do know that he was there to protect the Christians. And one of the issues that came up in your show, and I said it repeatedly, Christians were being slaughtered all over the Middle East thanks to the CIA-created Al-Qaeda, ISIS and all the other groups that were funded by Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Dubai. Now what happened is we strategically involved Iran that has no qualms with the Christians, the Russians who represent Christianity, and in fact are, cutting, are fighting back on all the elements that are involved in Syria. Dr. Pachinik, stay there, group. riveting stuff. And again, you've been a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. You do talk to all these people. Pachinik really has been doing the things he says he's doing here on air pretty amazing and of course also ran the famous camp david accords as well and is credited with helping get that deal we're on the we're going to go back to dr steve pachinik a minute i want to go to calls all over the map 9 11 and drills preparing for what's happening in the economy what are solutions to what's happening uh obama and putin russia we got a lot of questions and comments for myself and dr steve pachinik steve is his website by the way we're funded by you out there not even so much sponsors that's why it's imperative, if you believe in this info and want to keep spreading it, to go to InfoWarsStore.com and check out the, it's got to be approaching a thousand products that are stuff I use, things I think are great, uh, things that have great reviews. InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com is the vitamins, the minerals, the nutraceuticals. Hillary for Prison 2016 is one of our best-selling t-shirts ever. It says Legalize Freedom, InfoWars.com on the back end. Sure, there's a bunch of crooks, but the idea of Hillary for prison shows they're all a bunch of criminals. That's what they're talking about, impeaching Obama. They're talking about criminal charges for Hillary now, mainstream news. This is the idea. Getting back in their face. Plus, you get a great T-shirt that looks like a campaign shirt that's a sick joke that helps fund the operation. Uh, it's been sold out for over a month and a half. Super Mel Vitality is simply, what is it, 10 known concentrated cold-pressed non-GMO herbs that give me more stamina, energy, libido, you name it. Uh, it blows away leading competitors. It's got uh, just, you know, more than four-star review out of five stars by third-party review sites. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. And again, it's so important for folks to go to the website and read the reviews for yourself. Here's just some of the reviews uh, that came in yesterday. They're coming in every few hours, but this is what we printed off yesterday. This is Info Warrior in Hawesville, Kentucky. Am I pronouncing that right? H A W E S Vills, Kentucky. There's nothing bad about Super Mail. It's the best product I've found, and it works. I use it daily. It's great to take at work and to work out with. Alex Jones has great products. I've been telling all my friends about this product. Alex Jones, you're the best. No, you're the best. For supporting us thank you so much it was a five-star review here's another five-star review by guide in boise idaho this is far superior to other products i've tried in the past stamina clarity especially in the mornings with no running out of gas in the afternoon it works for me i noticed a better recovery from my workouts i would recommend this to a friend there's over a thousand reviews just for super male super females pretty much the same compound it has a couple different things in it it's available at infowarslife.com and again i want to thank all of you that have been purchasing the products because we couldn't fund this operation without you we have a lot of other specials running right now with free shipping on water filters and 10 percent off free shipping on storable foods 
And we don't have storable foods and things because we're living in fear. We're trying to be prepared. We're trying to be ready in these crazy times. Now, Dr. Pachinik, you've gotten into the state of the world, the loss of confidence in the system, uh, what Russia is doing. I want to cover a bunch of waterfront points before we go to these phone calls. What else is big on your radar screen right now? What do you expect the establishment to try to do to go after Trump? Uh, what do you expect Obama to do? Why is Hillary going around saying repeal the Second Amendment and maybe we should have mass gun confiscation? Doesn't she know that's incredibly unpopular? Or are they that disconnected from reality? As a PSYOP, why would she be trying to do that? Well, Hillary's in a very serious problem. And once again, I want to thank your audience and you. What we did was, in fact, to do a PSYOPs on Hillary, which was, in effect, to create Bernie Sanders to bring him out to, to co-opt her extreme left and then to bring Biden in to co-opt her middle and then to break up and fractionate her system. The reason Hillary's in trouble is because thanks to our FBI and James Comey, who's the new director of the FBI, She's going to be prosecuted because Obama made a statement with that which was totally inappropriate, and the FBI was furious, as well as many of us who work with the FBI. And that was that Hillary, in his 60-minute point, Obama said, oh, Hillary made the mistake, but it didn't affect national security. That was not true. Obama lied again. In fact, Comey and the FBI operatives and agents who worked diligently all the time, they were ready to indict Petraeus who had severe, severe uh, infractions against national security and would have been imprisoned had Obama not said something. So they're furious at this point again that Obama is trying to make light of the fact that Hillary may go to prison, and Trump is correct. She should be going to prison. I worked in the State Department. The two people who worked for me, Pat Kennedy, the Undersecretary for Management, was involved with Hillary in the collusion to get a private server and Eric Boswell, who was head of diplomatic security. Both were involved in Benghazi. Both have to be held accountable for collusion in a conspiracy to defraud and, and, and violate federal laws. I know these guys. They worked for me. There was no way that Hillary could have done this on her own. So, in fact, we should have faith in our internal systems because Congress is coming around. The FBI does come around. Our intelligence community, who does not agree with Obama and the Bushes, have helped out in many different ways. I can't go into specifics, but they made sure that our soldiers did not get killed. And in fact, you haven't heard of any Americans that are getting killed in Syria or Iraq, when in fact our intelligence covert operations are working there uh, and, and tediously, and, and they can't be identified. So we are functioning. And we're functioning along the lines of, of patriotism and a new revolution. The Hillary's, the Bushes, the Clintons are no longer relevant. They've been marginalized because they attempted to grab power so obviously and so ostentatiously. And the American public eventually began to realize what was happening, thanks to your show and many other shows. Please don't thank us anymore. Well, Alex, it, that's the reality. And thanks to many of the bloggers and those who really stood up, now we have been able to corner this dynasty, the Clintons, as well as the Bushes, and I know the Clintons well, I know her daughter well, and they should be prosecuted accordingly. Bill should be prosecuted, Sandy Berger, who was his national security well, Let me advisor. throw this in, because we've already gone over who should be indicted, uh, and I agree with you. There should certainly be a national investigation opening all this up, and then yes, it'll Alex, fall so. like a house of cards. But, but expanding on that, clearly, I kept saying, how delusional are they to have They're Clinton and Bush delusional. dynasties run again knowing nobody wants them, are you saying good people and in intelligence agencies and their own campaign people suckered them and this has all been a trap? Because that's well, what it looks it's like not to only me. Them. There are people like myself and others who've been in PSYOPs operations and we suckered them because this has been a 14 year operation. It's not something that just came overnight. And Jeb was so stupid that he literally reiterated what his brother said and Rumsfeld quoted about Pearl Harbor. So they were suckered. They've been suckered in for a long time because people like myself and others have monitored them for a long period. They've been warned repeatedly through blogs. And despite all of that, they went in because they are self-delusional. And in the business of manipulation of self-delusional, grandiose, paranoid people, it's not hard to manipulate them. The one who was not manipulated was Putin. And he understood very quickly how to move in in a country that had no leadership 
no direction on the foreign policy side, not on the domestic side. On the domestic side, we were extremely effective with lowering the ruble, the ability to make Russia a weaker economy, sure. and to be able to monitor that. So, well, let me ask you this question. People, what, what do you expect Turkey and Saudi Arabia to do now that they're not going to be able to break up Syria as easily? Are they... Uh, Turkey... Erdogan has got a very serious problem. He has been caught uh, putting his hand in the dishes and killing Kurds instead of fighting ISIS. He created ISIS. The Kurds know that. The Turks know that. The Americans know that. Now he has to pay the price. Either he works with the American uh, uh, military or he goes against it and he will be in serious trouble in his coming election. When he blew up all these Kurds, he put himself in harm's way. As for Saudi Arabia, I've told you years ago, the point of putting Iran into play and making it a Middle Eastern uh, hegemony was to, in fact, neutralize all the neocons in the United States, as well as Saudi Arabia. So is Obama are, breaking more with the neocons now, as some are saying? We, we are totally broken up with the neocons. The neocons have been identified from Newland to Hadley to all of them, Wolfowitz, and they still work with Jeb, and now they're going to be rounded up. In, psychologically and, in fact, incarcerate eventually. They know that. They thought they could get away with much of this, but when, in fact, Iran came in sure. and Saudi Arabia and Pakistan are in trouble, Dubai is in trouble, Jordan's in trouble, all the Sunni... Well, let me throw this in there. Four years ago, when the Libya thing was going on, you, you came on and, and, and you said, our military is not going to put up with destabilizing these countries and putting radicals in. Right. But you said big foundations are doing this. It's going to blow up. And then we did see the military come out and hold up the signs saying we're not going to be Al-Qaeda's Air Force. So they changed the name to ISIS to confuse the narrative. That didn't work. I had major whistleblowers on. The Justice Department called up and threatened to arrest them. They threatened us. They've been threatening us. We just said, whatever, we're just standing up to you. And so now, like a house of cards, it's starting to fall. But I don't want to be, I don't want to be, you know, overconfident here. But it is true that when push came to shove, when it became completely clear our military said we are not going to aid al-Qaeda murdering Christians. And people are like, well, big deal. They should have said no. Well, within the power structure, it's very hard to do the right thing. But I think this revealed the true mental rot beyond Machiavelli uh, that is going on in this elite. That how did they think they could really get away with turning al-Qaeda loose all over the world while claiming they're fighting al-Qaeda? I, I mean, do they understand? So I think that's what I'm getting from you. Do they understand how how much they've been exposed, Dr. Pachinik? They're beginning to understand. When I said that four years ago on your show that the military wouldn't tolerate it, it wasn't wishful thinking. I knew Dempsey and I knew his people around him and the Navy and the commanders and all. These are very honorable men and women. They would not tolerate what we call the stand down that was done in AFRICOM. That was done all around there. In eight hours, there's no reason why our military could not have gotten to Libya. Every military officer knew that. Twelve Navy officers were dis uh, dismissed. And in fact, when you start to play with your, oh, our military, and this has been true my whole life. Now, one of the things your audience does not know, I was a military officer while I was a deputy assistant secretary. So I not only held the position of deputy assistant secretary and a military Navy officer, I also held an intelligence position. So throughout my whole career, including now, our military has been the, the backbone of our country, as well as our intelligence service. From time to time, they get into trouble or they're told to do things they don't want to do. But when they do the things they don't want to do, like 9-11, they will come back with a vengeance. And so will our military. Our officers at the major and lieutenant colonel levels and the colonel and general levels are formidable. These are men who have many degrees. Uh, Dempsey, who I met, I had a discussion with, he was willing to go up against the President of the United States and refuse orders to do things. Now, that will be hopefully followed by the Commandant of the Marine Corps, the uh, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, as well as Air Force officers and Navy officers. But we have to thank our military and our intelligence. We do. We do. As well as I mean, the that's. FBI. There's so much opposition to the globalists there and actually people trying to stand up for real American interest. Uh, we did a piece of last week, I don't know if you saw it, about the mental illness of Obama showing you six years ago saying it, a year ago saying it. Now major diplomats are saying it and others are saying, and he's giving speeches where he looks like he's on painkillers or something. 
Do you have any intel specifically, or just as a psychiatrist watching him, uh, I mean, are you doing this from a 